back for another ingrown toenail. Um, this fine young lady here had a previous procedure done. Um, when did you say it was? A year and a half ago. A year and a half ago. Um, it was very traumatic for her. So we wanted to show today that it doesn't have to be as bad. And she's nervous. A little. A yes. little. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. And this is the norm. A lot of people have had bad experiences from, you know, UTC, primary care, orthopedic doctors, yada, yada, yada. You get the point. Someone's done it and it wasn't really, you know, it could have been done a lot easier. So we're going to go through this together. Um, so first thing we're going to do is just clean up the area. And you can see it's really um, swollen. The whole toe is swollen. It's gotten infected in this area. And I mentioned to her already is to make sure not to trim your toenails too short um, because you're kind of asking for an ingrown toenail at that point. A lot of kids pick at it and if you're kind of digging in there, you're gonna give yourself an ingrown. So don't do that. If you feel any pain right away, just give us a call because it's gonna be much easier for you um, in the long run. Okay, yeah. this doesn't take long at all. I'm a digger. I tried dig for a ah, while to dig it out. Don't and... dig. That makes it worse. So first things first, are you allergic to any numbing medications, lidocaine, marcaine, anything like that? Nope. Okay, and like I said, I'm just gonna numb up the back of the toe. Once you're nice and numb, you're not gonna feel anything. I'll definitely double check to make sure you don't feel anything. Okay. Um, you may feel a little pressure. Some people do, but it's okay because it's not pain. Okay. All right? Yeah. And we can stop at any time. Pressure. Pressure is okay. Yep. We can stop at any time you want. Caitlin, you might have to move around me if I'm getting in your way. Yep. Here we go. You can do this. Quick little stick. So did you eat lunch? Oh gosh. Oh goodness. Take deep breaths for me. Deep breath. Don't watch me. It's gonna make it worse. Wow, Do you have any fun summer vacations going on? Oh well, we just got back from Charlotte. Oh, it's you're kidding. For the fourth, we go every year. Oh, fun. I love Charlotte. Yeah. I have um, some of my favorite cousins live down there. Okay, deep breath. How we doing? Good. 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 Just breathe through it. Pretty, it feels kind of tight. Yeah, and that's the medicine in there. That's the good stuff. We want that in there because that way you don't feel any of the, the procedure. Okay. And honestly, this is the hard part. Once this is over, you're not going to feel much of anything. So, okay. And it takes, this takes longer to numb it up than to actually get it out. Here's that cold spray again. Quick little stick. You're doing great. What part of Charlotte? Um, north, north of Charlotte. Okay. Uh, it's in Cornelius. Oh gosh, that's kind of like a bee. Like, like a little bee sting? Bee sting. Yeah. Exactly. So nice and tight. We'll massage it in a little bit. Yeah. And we also have tight. to. It <laughs> feels pretty tight. <laughs> so far, so good. Yeah. Remember, this is the hard part. I only have one more, and you're done. Okay. Okay. This is not so bad. Not so bad. Good. We can handle this. Okay, all right, so the bottom one here I have to do is a little more tender. Okay. Just expect it, but I've already got some medicine in there to help numb it, okay. so that should help, but probably expect more of a big pinch down here. Okay. And I'll hold your foot nice and tight just to make sure you don't move. And if you need me to stop at any time, you just let me know. Okay. We are in no rush here. Here we go. Extra cold spray. Good job. Oh, gosh. Now, do you live on this side of town? Mm -hmm. Yep, we live in Hamburg. I love living over here. Yeah. I mean, I'm so close to the office and, you know, some great restaurants. Okay. Oh, yeah. Definitely restaurants. Done. Done, done, done. Okay. Hard part's over. Yeah. You did it. That was great. All right. <laughs> so, so far, so like, good. It was like a flu shot. <laughs> it was like, there you go. It was like a flu shot. No one's ever said that. So, okay. I like that. We'll take it. So we're going to pause for just a second. We're going to do setup and we'll show you uh, the rest of it in just a minute. But hard part's over. Okay, everybody, we are back. Um, we are hopefully nice and numb. I'm definitely going to check it before we get started. So again, this was, she had a horrible experience the first time around, but we're hoping her second time around isn't going to be anything like that. And again, I'm going to keep it covered from you. Okay. Caitlin, you can pop around however you want to. Tell me if you feel any sharpness. Good? Okay. All right. And you like oh, me feel a little yeah. right there? Yeah. Okay. How about right here? Um, I can feel it, but it doesn't hurt. So just kind of that pressure feeling, mm -hmm. but right here you can? Oh, gosh, yeah. Okay. Let's stop and we're going to put a little more in. Okay. okay. Thank you, ma'am. 
And that was the, the bottom one. So you may not feel much of this at all. Okay, Christine, can you spray right there on the bottom right there? Absolutely. I'm thinking about like hairspray. Drop the can this way. There we go. There we go, perfect. Put a little more, feel any of that? Nope. Let me know if you do. So far so good? Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little more up top too. Just to make sure. You're not gonna feel this toe for a couple of days. Okay. Which I'm good. sure you're not too <laughs> bummed about that. Okay. Let's massage it in there a little bit. Got a nice fat toe, which is what we want. <laughs> Did you feel anything um, before? Because remember how painful it was? Were um, you feeling that? The pain? Yeah, before I um, put more in? After the numbing? Yes. Like before the second round? Correct. Um, it just felt really tight. It just felt tight. Okay. But not pain like before. Okay, good deal. Yeah. Okay, and also if you have any Irish or Scottish, uh, Scottish heritage in your um, lineage, it takes more and longer for you to get numb. Isn't that crazy? Okay, so we'll try one more time here. If not, we'll probably let it sit for, you know, five, ten minutes. Okay. Okay? So good? So far so good? Yeah. Okay. So far so good? Yeah. Good. Oh. Feel it. You feel a little something there? Let's just give it a little bit longer. Okay? So you, let's take a pause. I'm If you don't feel this toe, or if you feel this toe, please, please, then the only other option, if you still do feel um, the toe, I'll numb up the other side, because I only numbed up half of it. Okay. Typically, we only need to do so if there's only um, ingrown on one side of the toe, but sure. sometimes there's a little nerve that dives over, and if that's the case, then we'll numb it up. Okay. Um, no big deal. But let's test it and do me a favor try not to think about it because sure. I know go to your happy place because when we're focusing on it we almost kind of psych ourselves out and we're like oh, is that it is that it sure. there it is okay here we go again everybody really see all that there okay here 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 yep you feel that there mm -hmm. okay I'm gonna have to numb up the other side of the toe I'm sorry. that's okay that's all right Let's go ahead and I'll need a little alcohol swab and some cold spray. We'll just make sure there might be a little, little something, something. And then I'll take the cold spray from you. I may need another syringe. I'm going to hit the other side. All right. Now, were you feeling pressure or true pain? I mean, it just kind of felt like a needle. Felt like, oh my word, it was just, okay. There we go, a little more. You may feel some over here. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the worst case scenario, if you continue to feel it and it's painful, what we need to do is we have to take you to the operating room and put you under anesthesia. What? Yeah. Really? Yes. Feel any of that? Um, just pressure. Okay. Get a little more over here. Get it from this side. Like I said, we take our time. There's no rush. We'll make sure everything. And the thing is, is you have a really bad ingrown. So, I can tell where you've been digging in there. It's... Yes. Okay. So, let's let it continue to get numb. It's been about, what, 30 minutes since we started? Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Normally, we could have done about four in this time frame. Sorry. But it's just your body. <laughs> you're not, you're not, the anesthesia's just taking longer. So, no worries at all. How's that feeling? Do you feel that? Nope. Yep. Pressure or pain? Um, it feels like a, like a tack. Like a tack. How about right here? 
Bless. And here. Nope. All right, let's let you sit for another, you know, 15 or so minutes. Ready? Here we go again. This is round three or four. I don't even know. Four, I think. We put a little more anesthesia in there because she could feel it just a bit. And we talked about that nerve maybe coming over or could be genetic if she's got a little bit of Scottish um, or Irish in her. It's going to take her a little long, longer to get numb. And sometimes you just don't metabolize the anesthesia. So that's why. So let's test it. Again, we're not going to do anything until you are ready. So let's have it. There we go. All right. So can you feel anything? Yay! I feel a huge success now. Yay! There we go. Touching it? Yeah. Okay. Oh. She doesn't know I'm touching it. That's a yeah, good sign. I don't, I don't feel anything. All right. Yay. Now we can rock and roll. So this over here, everybody, is called a pyogenic granuloma. Basically, this hunk of skin is um, boy, you really dug in there being produced because it's it, the, the ingrown toenails digging into the skin this nice big thick tissues trying to protect the skin and it keeps getting bigger and bigger I have a feeling this little guy is gonna be short because she's dug in there so far and am I right there we go just that yes you really had dug in there a lot I was expecting it to be bigger, but then once I could get the granuloma out of the way, I could see. So there we go. I didn't feel a thing. And it's over. Well, I'm happy you didn't feel a thing. I, I don't think you're going to feel a thing for about three days. So now we're just putting the medicine on. You cannot trim these nails back so short and go digging. Okay. You're making it so much worse. It doesn't have to be like this, okay? Okay. So here's the medicine. And then all the swelling um, is going to resolve and get back to normal. And let's let this nail grow out. Okay. Okay. All right. Almost there. I tell you, today has been ingrown toenail day. How many have we done, girls? I don't even know. I thought we've done three in the past hour. Yeah. Hour and a half. So how long is the toenail supposed to be? How long? Good question. Um, I recommend, you know the white stuff that comes on the end? Sure. Um, about a millimeter of that. Now everybody's nails are shaped a little different. So everyone's like, should I trim it straight across? Should I round the edges? What should I do? Should I put a V in it? Um, follow the natural shape of your toenail. Some people, the nails kind of grow this way, which is really interesting. So they have to trim them really you know, awkwardly. Um, so just leave one uh, millimeter of the white stuff. Okay. It's all done. So I was asking earlier, do you do you clip these and do the acid like as a preemptive measure ever? Uh, do I clip? Oh, you mean uh, just to kind of prevent? If you have had a history of an ingrown in that toenail in the past and you kind of know it's going to start bothering you again, yes. But do I just start clipping all of them? No. Because we're going to start creating problems. You don't really want to, you know, um, get in there and start digging around if you don't need to. Okay. So here you are. Do you have any questions about the instructions on how to take care of this once you get home? So. I have it covered. Well, you did good. Thank so, what's you. your final opinion? This was this was much easier than I thought it would be. Good. I'm glad to hear it. And don't do this at the urgent care. <laughs> <laughs> That's my advice. <laughs> all right, you guys. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have any ingrown toenails, clearly we do these all day long. So give us a call. Don't forget to um, sign up for the notifications at the bell. I don't know if it's here. Or here, I'm getting used to all this. So. Make sure you sign up and I'll see you next time. Thanks.